Nearly 200 troops returned to Fort Hood, Texas today, one week after leaving Iraq, where the unit had been deployed since February. Many more American troops remain on duty around the world this holiday, far from home, but far from forgotten. Here's Tracy Smith. For a few days every year, hundreds of volunteers crowd a National Guard armory in Van Nuys, California, making boxes bound for war. They're packed with little bits of home, things that can make life in the combat zone easier, or at least bearable. The name on the side says it all. Hi. Carolyn Blaschek founded Operation Gratitude eight years ago. And is there really still a need for all these care packages? There are still hundreds of thousands of troops who are away from home, away from their loved ones, at all times of the year, but especially now during the holidays, and they deserve to be remembered. You might expect this from a veteran or army wife, but Blaschek is neither. She's a civilian who earned a law degree at Columbia University before becoming a full-time mom. Then came September 11th and the start of the war in Afghanistan. I looked at my children at that point, who at the time, I guess, were 14 and 16. And I remember thinking, well, this is a war that could go on but I've already lived half my life and they're just starting out. So I don't want them to be the ones to have to bear this burden. Let me go right now. So Carolyn Blaschek went off to join the Marines after being politely told that at age 46, she was too old to enlist. Blaschek wound up volunteering at a military lounge at the LA airport. I was in the facility by myself one afternoon and a soldier walked in very distraught. He had no one left in his life. And he said to me, for the first time in my 20-year career, I'm going to a war. I know I'm not going to make it back, but it doesn't matter because no one would even care. This conversation made me think, what will give them the strength to do what they have to do to survive? And I realized, well, a lot of it's got to be the beliefs that someone at home cares. The next day, Blaschek started making and sending care packages to troops overseas, paying for everything out of her own pocket. Her house became a staging area and she enlisted her family's help, including her then teenage son, Jordan. There was a good few month periods where our entire living room was stacked to the top with boxes. She now has corporate partners who donate goods by the truckload and a battalion of volunteers to help out. Her operation is big, but not impersonal. Every box goes out with a handwritten note of thanks addressed to an individual soldier, sailor, or Marine, wherever they might be. This mom, who was bent on keeping her children out of harm's way, also wound up inspiring both to serve. Her daughter is now a social worker. Her son, Jordan, got accepted to medical school. But two years ago, at Christmas, he told his parents something they never expected to hear. I want to serve my country, and I'm joining the Marines. I mean, honestly, that what went through your head? It was, God bless you and keep you safe, that's all. First Lieutenant Jordan Blaschek deployed to the Middle East last month. Gabriel has the 750,000 package. Yeah. Carolyn Blaschek says Operation Gratitude will stay up and running, not just until her son comes home, but until they all do. Tracy Smith, CBS News, Van Nuys, California.